Over the past 25 years, Pezi Import and Export Company has gained an internationally renowned reputation as a major manufacturer, dealer and collector of fine oriental rugs. This story is an insight into what goes into making these fine rugs and why they are extraordinary pieces of creation. India, one of the largest producers of oriental rugs in the world. Jaipur, Panipat and Agra are some places that supply equisitely crafted rugs to Fezi, not to forget the district of Varanasi. Varanasi, the religious and cultural capital of India. But the place of action for Fezi rugs is 45 kilometers away in Badohi and nearby areas and is a 3 to 4 hours bumpy ride thanks to the bad roads and the construction of a highway underway. Traditionally, Indian rug industry has been a cottage industry where the rug is produced in people's houses in small villages. The manufacturer is responsible for buying the wool, dyeing it and having the cartoon drawn. A weaver then gathers all the necessary materials for weaving the rug from the manufacturer and takes them back to his home where other members of the family can help complete the rug. Once the rug is finished, it is carried back to the manufacturer who then gets the remaining processes completed and makes it ready for distribution. But Fezi, in its effort to ensure quality and delivery, has encouraged and helped its suppliers, who get associated with Fezi after meeting tough standards, to create the entire process in-house in their own campus. To fully appreciate the beauty of knotted Indian rugs, it helps to understand how they are made. Pezi employs some of the best designers in the industry and its in-house design staff is responsible for creating most of the designs that are sent to the suppliers whose skilled staff makes them into detailed maps. And so, the process is called mapping. the rug are also determined at this stage and sent to begin the process of dyeing the yarns accordingly. The making of the yarns has a small story of its own wherein the supplier gets various quality of wool from across the world which is cleaned and after several combing and stretching exercises turns into fine threads or yarns ready to be dyed and contribute to the process of some meticulously crafted human creations. Vats of water are fired and dye are added to the water. The yarn is then put into the boiling mixture and comes out only when it reaches the desired color. It is then removed from the vat and hung on lines to dry in the sun. Once the yarn is dry, weaving can begin. Most Indian rugs are woven on looms. Looms are simply large frames that hold the foundation threads called the warp and the weft in place so knots can be tied around them to form the pile. Knots can be counted from the back of the carpet and this count often can determine the quality and the cost of a rug. As rows of knots are completed, the weaver must pack them down with a large metal comb.
After the rug has been taken off the loom, it must be washed. The rug first undergoes a chemical wash and is then rinsed with water to give the rug a final cleaning. This process takes approximately 4 to 8 hours. The chemical wash softens the yarn and gives the rug a silky feel. The rug is then set out in the sun to dry. This is a critical point in the process as the slow drying in the sun contributes in a big way to the shine of the carpet. But sunlight being a natural source is not consistently available throughout the year. Especially during long monsoons when the sun doesn't show up for days together. The best periods therefore for Indian rug making are October to April when the temperatures are down and the sun bright and shining. Then comes the process of shearing. Shearing makes the design much more sharper and clearer. Only some time back, shearing was done manually, but thanks to this machine, the process has become much faster, though the final shearing or hand clipping is still done with hands. Last in the process is hand tying the fringe and giving it the final touches to make it flawless. Well, that goes the story of the knotted rugs. Another form of Indian rug making is the tufted rugs. Fezzi's tufted rugs are made of 100% wool in India. First, a canvas is stretched across a vertical wooden frame. The design of the rug is then traced onto the back of the fabric. Using a hooking or latching tool, the wool yarn is inserted from the back of the fabric creating the pile or loops on the front of the rug. Workers use a type of scaffolding to raise themselves up as they work the rug from bottom to top. Upon completion of the tufting, the rug is bagged with a latex solution to bind the ends of the yarn to the back of the canvas. The rug is washed and another final backing of the canvas is placed on the back of the rug. The rug is then carefully clipped with shears to create a uniform pile height. With its internationally renowned reputation of an innovator, Fezzi keeps coming up with new creations, latest in the series being shaggy rugs. There one can see these in the making. After the rugs have gone through all the final processes, they are finally inspected critically by the Fezzi representatives in India. Once the rugs pass this inspection, they are ready for distribution. The time needed to weave a 9 by 12 feet rug ranges from 3 to 6 months depending on the quality of the rug and the number of people weaving it. Indian weavers mostly produce Persian designs. They are known for adding minute detail to larger patterns. And that was the fable of the Indian rug making.
the past 25 years, Vezi Import and Export Company has gained an internationally renowned reputation as a major manufacturer, dealer and collector of fine oriental rugs.